All right, what's up YouTube? For this video, we're gonna teach you how to update your controls in a track mode. The first thing you wanna do is you should boot up into a track mode. Let's go ahead and go to uh, a track mode setup. And we're gonna go over here to launch emulation station. So go ahead and click that and then it should reboot your Pi into emulation station. Now that we're in a, a emulation station, not in track mode, we're gonna go over to the retro Pi menu here. And we're going to go into RetroPie Setup. Now that we're in RetroPie Setup, one of the first things you want to do is just manage driver packages. And here you're going to find all the little controller packages. So like the PlayStation 3 controller package, for example. If you're running arcade sticks, or some arcade stick packages. And then the XPad is the one that you want to use. I install this one for both the uh, Logitech one I use as well as the generic Xbox 360 controller. So I already have it installed. If it's not installed, you're just going to go ahead and click OK. And then update from source. Um, and you can see here, there's a little help file for each of these as well. If you want to kind of learn more, like if you're wondering about the PS3 controller, you can go to the package help. Uh, this is helps the driver and pair via 6 Um You can get more information online to find out which driver you need for your computer, for your controller, not computer. Okay. Once you have your controller drivers installed, okay, and if you're able to get to this menu, you obviously have one controller that can get around. The next thing you want to do is when you get to this menu, hit the start button. When you hit the start button, go ahead and click your A button. It says, are you sure you want to configure? Go ahead and click A again. And then as you can see, I have one gamepad plugged in right now, and so it's detected. That's a good sign that usually means your drivers are installed. So let's go ahead and hold down A here. And then we're just going to go through this up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. Now this one you actually have to push in on the thumb pads. And then up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Okay. And then press OK once and just wait. This does take a minute. Not a minute, but you know, you saw there, like three seconds to get out. Okay, and now we're done. Okay. So we've configured our controller. We've installed the drivers and we've configured the controller in emulation station. We're now rebooting into a track. Once you're in a track mode, go ahead and hit your left trigger on your controller to get to the menu. And what that's going to do is send you to the configuration, and then we're going to go to controls. And uh, so we have the back button. We have escape. I have also have that set as um, one of my trigger buttons as well. You can either remove them, or you can add a new one. Like if you want to add a different one, I'd go add. And then I'd actually press the input here. So let's say I want to go the right analog up. I'm fine with that. And it's, it's saying that there's another configuration that's already using that. I already know what it is, so it's okay. But otherwise, it might not ask you that as well. So I have all the inputs. If I want to remove this one that I just added, I'm just going to go ahead and click my input button, which is B. So let's go ahead and go back. And then you have up. Right now, I have my up set on up on a keyboard, up on the D-pad, or up on your analog stick, right? That's the one you move with your thumb. And then again, if I want to remove one, I can just remove it. And uh, let's just do the, well, I'm going to remove the one on the analog stick. I'm sorry, that's removing the one on the D-pad. Yeah, because I can still um, hit down. Oh, no, I can't. What the hell? Okay. Oh, that is a uh, enjoy up. Oh, okay. Oh, my down is not working. <laughs> we got to get down working here, peeps. Here we go. Add input down. Okay, nice. So now we have down for both. We can use our D-pad. This is down with my D-pad. This is down with my analog stick. You can hear it. Analog stick. Down with my other one. Analog stick. Down with my other one. See, so I got them both working. And then left, you could do the different left. Select, I have it on D right now. What you want to select. Previous page and, and next page I have those my triggers so I can jump around a little bit. Um, displays menu is to display what your uh, the different menus you have on the attract mode and then there's a bunch of other stuff here I'm not really going to get into in this video because it's just advanced stuff you don't need to know this has gotten you probably more than you need to know here uh, once you're in you now have your control so I'm going up with my analog stick as you see you hear it and then down on my analog stick and then down on my d-pad up on my d-pad and then you wanted to see the triggers, you just, so my right trigger goes down, and what does that go down, like Game Boy Color? It goes down pretty much a whole page, right, to the right. It's like the quick speed. 
and then the left you can quick speed the other way. And then when I'm in a system, and then I can quick speed it like this, or you know, with my left trigger, right trigger, left trigger. And my back button, my escape button is the right trigger. So there you have it. I hope you like this video. Fairly simple to get your controls working in a track mode, but uh, if you don't know about that menu and you don't know how to add and remove, I mean, it could be uh, very difficult. So now you know, you just go into that menu, click the add, get those controls working so you can browse this awesome collection. If you're interested in this image, there'll be a link in the description below. If you could give this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe subscribe to the channel, maybe, maybe, maybe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.